The alarm signal of Ukraine's air defense system was activated during the joint press conference held in Kiev by President Volodymyr Zelensky and the visiting president of the European Parliament Roberta Matsula on Thursday. Stopping his speech, Zelensky asked Roberto Matsola how he felt about this situation. In turn, Matsola expressed his concern. Commenting on what had happened, Zelensky said, This is a parade made by the Nazis. This is their real attitude to the world and the fight against Nazism, he said. Later, both of them left the area. Zelensky was referring to the annual Victory Day parade held in Moscow marking Nazi Germany's capitulation in World War II. Збільшення виробництва вітчизняної артилерії, артилерійського снаряду і дрона, а, напевно, велика кількість стугне, корсара, тощо. День Європи. New combat tactics in Ukraine, Russians now use turtle tanks in groups. The use of so-called turtle tanks on the front lines in Ukraine appears to be becoming the norm. Just three weeks after the first discovery of a Russian T-72 tank with an additional protective hull attached to it, Russian troops are now using the modified vehicles in groups. This is evidenced by a clip that is currently circulating on social networks. Russian military blogger Boris Rozin published a video on Telegram with drone columns of turtle tanks. According to him, the recording was made last Saturday and shows an attack on the small town of Krasnogorovka in the DPR. The footage shows four turtle tanks believed to be upgraded infantry fighting vehicles and a main battle tank driving into the city area under Ukrainian artillery fire. In the end, it appears that only one of the vehicles made it back to Russian positions. According to a military blogger, the attack was aimed at transporting paratroopers into the city. The first turtle tank was spotted near Krasnogorovka in early April. Just a week later, a Ukrainian drone spotted another example of the improved design in the area. Instead of a flat protective panel, the second turtle tank had a taller design, apparently to protect the infantrymen. The design has proven itself. According to the pro-Ukrainian blog Defense Express, during its baptism of fire, the prototype unloaded Russian attack aircraft near Ukrainian positions and then drove back again. The experience gained by the Russian armed forces with the turtle tank now seems to be affecting tactics. Instead of simply placing one of the vehicles at the head of an attacking column, several turtle tanks are used at once. The Ukrainian armed forces are having trouble defending themselves against these monsters, as they call them, due to a shortage of artillery shells, mines and anti-tank weapons. Everyone laughs at the design of their armor, but they actually work damn well, wrote the pro-Ukrainian military blog Life on the Front Line about a video that allegedly shows the attack of a turtle tank on the city of Chasovya. According to the Telegram channel, it took a lot of FPV to repel the attack drones.